Indianapolis. As the halftime clock wound down with under a minute to go and Gonzaga's players were milling about on the court and preparing for the second half, Jalen Suggs snuck behind Omar Ballo and intentionally bumped into his teammate. The 7-foot, 260-pound Ballo turned around, wondering who was looking for trouble. He looked down to see Suggs mean mugging for a split second, then let loose a playful smile. The teammates cracked a quick laugh and went arms over shoulders into the team huddle. The moment was quick, you'd miss it if you weren't looking, but something so simple can sometimes reveal deeper truths. This Gonzaga team is not only great, it's close and it is borderline unstoppable. The Bulldogs' comradeship and tight bond is representative of an overarching culture that Mark Few has nurtured for more than two two decades. GU's casual 85-66 annihilation of USC put the Bulldogs' two wins away from sports history. Two more wins and this team will be one for the ages. That major plotline leads our eight storylines to know as we ramp up to the final weekend of the season. Consider this your first look ahead, and cheat sheet, about the biggest stories and sidebars leading up to Saturday's doubleheader. Gonzaga, UCLA, Baylor and Houston are in the final four. Listen to the newest Eye on College Basketball episode to prepare for the final weekend of the season. This one lords over all the others below it. Gonzaga, 30-0, winning a national championship with an undefeated record would transcend college basketball. The only major American sport that sees undefeated teams win national titles with any kind of semi-regularity is college football. The Zags pulling it off would be something special, all the more because of how Gonzaga has evolved in the league, WCC, it still plays in. UNLV, 1990, is the last team to win a national championship from outside the power conference structure. Of all the schools to be the one to finally repeat what was last done in 1976, if it's to be Gonzaga, that will be poetic and also appealing. No other sport could give you a story like this. An undefeated Gonzaga would be a distinctly alluring achievement only college basketball is capable of providing. There is also something appropriate about Gonzaga needing to knock off UCLA in order to make a national title game and try to complete an undefeated season. Old Hoops Royalty versus the most modern of programs, and King of the West, for more than a decade running. If Gonzaga is going to match the John Wooden's unbeaten accomplishments of yesteryear, it's going to need to go through Wooden's program to do it. Fitting. In 2006, Gonzaga blew a 17-point lead in the West Regional Semifinals against UCLA. It's one of the most frustrating choke jobs I've ever seen in college basketball. And I rarely use that descriptor for a college team, 